Judge Alex, today at 3 on ABC 26. Fantastic February. We're at W.T. Haynes Elementary School in Texas, where Jason Thompson is switching places with first grade teacher Jamie Wolf. Let's see if he can handle 21 six-year-olds. Are you ready? Hi. How are you? Well, my name is Jason. You guys can just call me whatever you want. Is it Froglet? Froglet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fantastic February is sponsored by Quilted Northern. It's all in the pattern. The pattern of caring. Quilted Northern. Calm down. Calm down. We are not going to charge in there like a couple of action heroes out of some cheesy flick. Did you look at Elizabeth? Just stop. Something it. is wrong with my baby. Stop it. Dad, we don't have stop time. It. Stop it. Stop it. Breathe. <sighs> Calm down. Calm down. It's time for our lovely contestant to choose. Dr. Allen's having a coronary and... Nurse Elizabeth appears to be in premature labor. Who are you going to save? Don't do this. What? No help from the studio audience, please. I'd, I'd like to examine them so I can... Sorry, get... you've run out of time. What is your answer? Let her examine them. Isn't it more entertaining to build the suspense? You realize you'd be killing any chance you have of getting away. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't see what's happening in that lobby? Mr. One's big plan is falling apart. Now, the vault's not going to open for hours. Your boss is already starting to unravel. Even if he gets the briefcase, he's going to be so fried. He's not going to be able to pull off his so-called exit strategy. What do you care? You'll be dead. about this. These guys are pros. They don't care anything about the hostages. They'll shoot them all if they think they're under attack. Smith is waiting for me and I should be in there with her. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? She wouldn't be in this mess if I hadn't messed up. Okay, you screwed up. Let it go. Come on. We're gonna pull her out of there, but you've got to pull yourself together. Oh, Elizabeth could lose our baby, Dad. I know that may be low on your priority list. Stop it! You're talking nonsense! That baby's important to me, too. And we're gonna get the baby. And we're gonna get Elizabeth and Nicholas and Lulu out. The situation remains extremely tense. Police sources confirm that there has been contact with one of the gunmen inside the hotel. But... God, those fool reporters just keep blabbering the same thing over and over. Why don't they tell us something Edward, new? Edward, Edward, calm down. You've already had your heart checked once to look. What do you expect me to do? I can't be calm because Alan and Emily are hostages. And there is nothing we can do about it. No, stop being so infuriatingly rational. Don't you want to do something? I am worried sick about Alan and Emily. Listen, if they harm one hair on that little girl's Nicholas head. is with Emily. I'm sure he'll do everything he can to protect her. And you know, to, to make matters worse, Luke is probably down at that hotel right now engaged in more half baked Edward, heroic. please, what? shut up. My pulse is spiking listening to you. You know, I don't think you need to worry, because Mr. Luke knows what he's doing. Yeah, since when? Well, look, if I was being held hostage and my life could be ripped away from me at any second, I'd want Mr. Luke to be the one to rescue oh, me. Oh, please, that's an image I do not wish to contemplate. Spare us, Alice. Have you heard anything? Yes. Apparently, the gunmen have agreed to release one hostage. 
Alan, you need to concentrate on your breathing, slow and steady. Carly, and fast. Carly, I'm not the one who's in labor. That would be Elizabeth. Hey, how are you feeling, Dad? I'm managing. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, you need to go check on Elizabeth. No, 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 you don't give orders this time. You're the patient, not the doctor. Listen, Elizabeth can't give birth here. Yeah, and you should have received thrombolytic meds within 30 minutes of the onset. Well, you gave me aspirin. It's only a stopgap, Dad. You have got to let me take care of you. That baby is going to be too premature to survive outside of a hospital. You remember what you told me when Robin was shot? To think objectively, as if this were a triage situation, to consider who needs treatment first. You mean you actually listen to me? <laughs> You've shown me my example. You're a wonderful father. Not only on a clinical level, but for the care and concern you show your patients. I only hope that I can live up to your example. You got me beat by a mile, Em. <laughs> I want you to stick around so that I can keep following in your footsteps. They've agreed to release one hostage. This is our best chance to storm the lobby and get those May people I out. I suggest that we wait until morning before mounting an assault. No, you've waited far too long already. When those doors open, that SWAT team goes in. One of the hostages is a pregnant woman. The other happens to be Commissioner Scorpio's niece, who's barely hanging on after being operated on with a paring knife. What do you think Robin Scorpio's chances are if you mount a, a direct assault on the lobby? We have to accept the fact that there may be casualties here. You calling Robin's death acceptable? Patch! care about thieving hostages? That's absurd. The reporters have no breaking news. We're at a stalemate and you don't like Patrick, that, do this you? this isn't man? helping anybody. If it stops this woman from storming that lobby and killing Robin, it's doing something. Look, our right. lancing Wait. is right. Those gunmen are going to kill those hostages the second that vault is Robin, open. We have to hostages. get those people out now. I'm counting on you to save them. And you're not going to do anything, are you? No. You fool. This may be our only legitimate chance to save those people. This man just assaulted a public official. I want him arrested right Patrick now. Established contact with with the ringleader. I might need him. He stays. Commissioner Scorpio, would you please place Doctor Drake under arrest? If Drake hadn't have punched you, I would have myself. Interesting. The gun went off, and you're still alive. Do you know why? You're alive because you're potentially useful. You have money, power, and contacts in town which I may use at my disposal, so I won't kill you, yet. Now, secure Michael Corinthos Jr. to the chair. I'm gonna check on his lovely wife. Let's hope for her sake that she'll be cooperative. Goodbye. General Hospital on ABC, brought to you by delicious Slim Fast Optima Shakes and Meal Bars. They control hunger up to four hours.